Algebra 2 Honors Lesson 6-3. Here are the lesson's objectives. Alright, so we need to take this polynomial and divide it by this polynomial. So let's set up long division real quick. So we're good. So we have x squared plus 3x minus 12 and we're dividing it by x minus 3 okay now the first thing you want to make sure is this polynomial in here should be in standard form okay so it should be in standard form meaning highest exponent and going down second it should not have any missing terms all right when I say missing terms I mean if this is x squared the next term should be uh, have an x in it some sort of you know 2x 3x in this case 3x all right so we shouldn't skip or an exponent. So in, right now we're good because there are no missing terms. So once you've checked for that, you can, you can, can uh, proceed with the process. So this is how the process starts. Some term times x has to give you this. So in this case, it's going to be x. x times x will give us x squared. x times negative 3 will give us negative 3x. And always make sure you're lining up the like terms underneath each other. Okay, for the most part, they usually line up. Sometimes they don't, depending on what type of problems are they were given. Uh, after you've done that, what you're going to do next is you're going to change the signs. So, meaning if this is positive, it's going to become negative. If this is positive, if this is negative, it'll become positive. All right. The reason why the the signs change is because you're subtracting all right, these terms. And then these should always cancel if you're doing the problem correctly. All right, if you're working it out correctly, these should always cancel. If they don't, then you probably did something wrong. So this this cancels. This will give us six x. Go ahead and bring down the negative twelve now, and then repeat the process. So something times x should give you this. All right, so something times x should give you this. So we're gonna end up with negative. Actually, positive six. So that'll give you six x. 6 times negative 3, negative 18. And then, go ahead and change the signs. This will become a negative. This will become a positive. So this should cancel. And then, we're left with a remainder of 6. All right? And this is how you write the remainder. So the remainder is positive, so you put a plus. And then 6 divided by whatever all right, your divisor was. In this case, x minus 3. So this is your answer right here x plus 6 plus 6 over x minus 3 okay right here uh, let's try another one slightly more complicated one so let's say we have um, 3x to the third minus x squared minus 7x plus 6 divided by x plus 2. So first we want to check is the polynomial in standard form? Yes it is. Is it missing any terms? All right. Well x to the third, x squared, just x and then 6 so it's not missing any terms. So let's uh, proceed with the process. So something times x is going to give you this. So in this case that's going to be 3x squared okay and then multiply here so we'll get 3x to the third multiply here that will give us positive 6x squared change the signs negative negative all right these should cancel we end up with negative 7x squared so let's bring this one down minus 7x repeat the process something times x should give you this so we end up with negative 7x so I'll give you negative 7x squared minus 14x. <coughs> Change the signs. Positive, positive. This should always cancel. If you're doing it right, this will give us positive 7x now. Bring down the positive 6. I repeat the process so positive 7 times x will give us the 7x that we need 7 times 2 
is positive 14. Change the signs. That cancels, and then we're left with negative 8 as a remainder. So since it's negative, we'll put minus 18 over whatever we divided by. In this case, we divided by x plus 2. Okay, so this will be our answer right here. Uh, let's try another one. Mm. x to the fourth minus 3x squared minus 10 divided by x minus 2. Okay. So, let's set this up. Now you notice here, it looks like we're missing some terms. We're missing an x to the third and also an x. So when you set this up, right, you've got to fill in the missing terms. So since we're missing an x to the third, we'll put plus 0 x to the third. And then we have this, minus 3x squared. We're missing an x term, a linear term, so plus 0 x and then we have the minus 10. Right? So always make sure you fill in the missing terms if there aren't any. Then we have the x minus 2 out here. So let's start the process. x to the third times x will give us x to the fourth. Right? Multiply here, and that's negative 2x to the third. Change the signs. They should always cancel, so we get 2x to the third. Bring this one down, minus 3x squared. Repeat the process. So this will give us positive 2x squared. That will give us 2x to the third. Multiply here. That's negative 4x squared. Repeat the process. All right. Change the signs. All right. This cancels. We end up with x squared. Bring this down. Then go ahead and repeat the process. Right, so, so we have plus x, so that will give us x squared, right, and then what's right here, minus 2x, change the signs, so we're going to end up with, let me move over here, uh, this will cancel, so we end up with negative 2x, and then when you bring this down, so that will be minus 10, so we'll have negative 2, that'll give you the negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. Change the signs. So our remainder is negative 14. So then we'll have minus 14 over whatever we divided by. Okay? Now let's go ahead and jump to the next thing. So the next thing we need to know is is asking us determine whether x plus four is a factor of each polynomial. All right. Now, so let's d divide this using long division. So we have x squared plus six x plus eight divided by uh, x plus four because we're checking to see if x plus four is a factor of this. All right. So let's just do the work first, and I'll explain. So let's start the process. All right, we're not missing any terms. It's in standard form. So x times x is x squared. x times 4 is positive 4x. Change the signs. It just cancels. Get 2x. Bring this down. Plus 8. Start the process over. Repeat it. So we get plus 2. So we get 2x. All right, plus 8. Change the signs. All right, so these cancel, these cancel, so it looks like we have a remainder of zero. Now, if you get a remainder of zero, all right, that means that x plus four is a factor of, all right, x squared plus six x plus eight. All right, so if you get a remainder of zero, all right, that means that whatever you divided by, all right, is a factor of uh, this polynomial, of the polynomial that you were dividing, okay?
So let's try the example B here. So we, we want to check if x plus 4 is a factor of this. So we have x to the third plus 3x squared minus 6x minus 7. And we're checking if x plus 4 is a factor of this. So it's in standard form. All right, no missing terms, so we're good. So let's start the process. So this would be x squared. We get x to the third. Multiply here. It will be positive 4x squared. Change the signs. This should always cancel. We get negative x squared here. Brings us down. Minus 6x. Repeat the process. So it looks like we'll have negative x. The negative x squared. All right. Minus 4x. Change the signs. This will give us negative 2x. Bring down the negative 7. So then looks like that will give us negative 2. That will give us negative 2x uh, plus 8. I'm oh, sorry, minus 8. Minus 8. Change the signs. Just cancel. So we end up with 1 as a remainder. Now, if you get a remainder of anything other than 0, all right. So if the remainder is anything other than zero, that means that x plus four, all right, whatever the divisor is, x plus four is not, all right, is not a factor. Right, okay. So if you get a remainder anything other than zero, that means that whatever you divide it by is not a factor of this polynomial. Okay. Um, the next thing, uh, dividing using synthetic division. Okay, dividing using synthetic division. First thing, in order to use synthetic division, all right, you can't use it all the time. In order to use synthetic division, the divisor, all right, must be in the form, all right, x minus c, where c is some constant number. For example, if it's a x minus 5, all right, we could use synthetic division. x plus all right, 2, we could still use synthetic division because c in this case would be negative 2. Okay? Now, if it's something like, let's say, for example, x squared minus 1, all right, we can't use synthetic division all right, because it has to be in the form x minus something, meaning the, you can't have an exponent in anything other than 1. Okay, so remember that for synthetic division. So to do synthetic division, so if we're taking this polynomial, dividing it by x plus 1, all right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take all these coefficients. Okay, check to see if there's a missing term, because if there's a missing term, we'll need to plug in a 0. All right, so there's no missing term. So we have 3, negative 4, 2, and negative 1. And then make kind of the backwards L. And then whatever this term is right here, remember our divisor is in the form x minus c. So since it's in the form x minus c, we're always going to take the opposite sign of this. That'll be our c value. Our c value would be the opposite sign of this. So in this case, negative 1. All right. The reason why it's opposite sign because if you go x minus c is negative 1, so negative negative gets you this positive. Okay. And then make a line. And we're always going to bring down the first number first. So drop down the, whatever this number is all right, down here. So we're going to multiply, multiply these two. So that'll give us negative 3, and then it goes here. All right, so multiply, then the answer goes here. Add negative 7. Multiply 7. Add 9. Multiply negative 9. Add negative 10. All right, so this last number here is our remainder. Now. Our answer, all right, if we started with x to the third, all right, our answer is going to drop down one exponent, meaning this is going to be 3x squared, because remember, if this was, a, if, it started, if the question started with x to the third, all right, if you do synthetic division one time, it goes down one exponent. So this will be 3x squared minus 7x plus 9, and then our remainder is negative 10 over what we divided by, this is a negative 1, to do opposite sign x plus 1. 
So this would be our answer right here. Right. 3x squared minus 7x plus 9 minus 10 over x plus 1. Okay. Now, if we actually are divided this problem using long division, so let's do that real quick. So remember our answer right here. If we actually divide this using long division, we have a 3x to the third minus 4x squared plus 2x minus 1 divided by x plus 1. So let's divide this using long division. Let me just do the work real quick. So in this case, we'll get a 3x squared. So that'll give us 3x to the third uh, plus 3x squared. Change the signs. This cancels. So negative 7x squared. Bring this down. That's 2x. All right, so this will give us negative 7x. So we get negative 7x squared uh, minus 7x. Change the signs. This cancels. We get 9x. Bring this down. So we're going to get plus 9. So we have 9x plus 9. Change the signs. Minus, minus. So we get remainder negative 10. So we'll get negative 10 over what we divided by x plus 1. So our answer 3x squared minus 7x plus 9 minus 10 over x plus 1. You notice our answer when we use long division is exactly the same as our answer when we use synthetic division. Okay, so either method right, gets us the same answer. Okay, but you have to remember for synthetic division, in order to use synthetic division, the problem needs to be in the form, or the divisor needs to be in the form x minus c. All right, and that's the reason why we need to learn long division also. Because if you get a problem such as, you know, 3x squared minus 4x uh, minus 10, and you need to divide this by, let's say, x squared uh, plus 1, all right, you can't use synthetic division here. You would have to be. You would have to use our right, long division, okay? Because this is not in the form x minus c. That's the reason why we also need to learn long division, okay?